Sharing Mayo Clinic is our uh, site that we've set up that enables patients to tell their stories about their experiences at Mayo Clinic. Uh, we found that over the last 100 years or so, the most important way for people to find out about Mayo Clinic and reasons why people prefer Mayo Clinic is the stories that they've heard from people who've been patients here, who've come here, gone home, and uh, shared their story. This is just the 21st century version of the word of mouth that's been happening for 100 years. Uh, it's also an opportunity for employees and staff to and students to share their stories about why they're at Mayo Clinic, you know, why they enjoy having the opportunity to serve patients, and how people in various different roles, whether it's you know general service, whether it's desk attendants, whether it's ICU nurses or any other staff all play a part in uh, providing the best care to every patient every day. Uh, the goal of sharing Mayo Clinic blog is to make it easier for people to share their stories. Um, instead of just sharing over the back fence when they get home, uh, to be able to go online and you know, tell their stories about what their experience has been like here. We found on mayoclinic.org, our patient-oriented site, that the most popular features are the patient stories. You know, these are stories people want to hear what it's like to be a patient here and what experiences others have had. And uh, this can be even more powerful because it's people telling their stories in their own words. So whether it's videos of patients, which we haven't been able to have as much on mayoclinic.org, or whether it's people writing in with their comments, um, it's not you know, a finished, polished kind of story. It's you know, really genuine. It's the people um, sharing what their story has been and, and what their experience has been. Well, this really is part of a larger Mayo Clinic social media effort, you know, starting with some blogs that we've had on mayoclinic.com for a little bit over a year. But then we've also had a Facebook fan page for Mayo Clinic where we've got something over 3,300 uh, people who are Mayo Clinic fans and you know, subscribe to receive information and to also to share their stories about Mayo Clinic. Uh, we've had a news blog that is uh, an opportunity for us to share more in-depth information about scientific studies that are either being presented at a medical meeting or being published in journals so that instead of just the eight or ten second sound bite that may make the general news, um, patients and consumers can hear in-depth information about what the study is all about and why the research was done and what it really means, what the implications are. So while the, the general news is great for getting the word out to a broad audience, this enables people who have a particular condition um, to get more in-depth information and you know, the, the details on um, what's the latest that Mayo Clinic has discovered about the disease or condition but also some practical things about treatment. Uh, social media are becoming much more important in society in general. I mean, it is the, the trend of the 21st century that everybody's a publisher, that people can, whether it's through blogs or through Facebook or MySpace or other social networking sites like that, people are going less and less to the mainstream media and more and more to um, hearing from people like them you know, stories uh, of their uh, treatment or stories of dealing with the conditions that they have. So this is a really authentic way for people to hear uh, people telling their stories in their own words, whether it's the stories of patients um, being treated at Mayo Clinic or receiving care here, or um, staff who are involved in, you know, kind of what's behind, what's going on behind the scenes at Mayo Clinic and why someone would want to um, work here. For about the last 10 years or so, uh, we've done studies and asking people you know, how they heard about Mayo Clinic or you know, why, why do they think highly of Mayo Clinic. The number one reason is the word of mouth of satisfied patients. They've heard from somebody who's had a good experience at Mayo. Um, the second would be stories in the news media. So whether it's um, stories about a high profile patient or or a study that's been done here, you know, they read about research that's been done at Mayo. The neat thing about social media is it combines the two. You know, it provides both the word of mouth um, and it also provides the, you know, the rich media, the kind of video and audio and resources that, you know, have a potential global reach. So people can tell their stories on the web. Um, it's potentially available to the whole world, but the people who are going to pay the most attention 
be their friends. And so it's an opportunity for people to quickly and easily um, share their experience at Mayo. Um, we've had, we have something like 500,000 unique patients every uh, year, most of whom have a really great experience. And we're providing an opportunity for them to tell their story and for our 50,000 employees to also share why they love working at Mayo and providing service to those patients.